Hey Squares, I'm MK, and welcome back to this slaughterhouse. I think they're pigs, but they also don't look like pigs even, even at all. But we have to go meet Ruth down by the cannery. I have a feeling we're gonna get, uh, caught or interrupted. Whoop, can we look in there? Nope, that's just a regular old grate. It's getting late. I'd better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Oh, I have a feeling you're going to be spending the night in many a holes, sir. Sir Jack. Um, we're going to go to the cannery, which is by the train station. Which I believe is around the corner. I've only walked this town 40 times. I should, I should. Um, we're going to have to sneak past him. I guess we can go through the grocery. Let's go talk to him. Constable, what's with the blockade? You're barely minding your own affairs. What have you done with Tom Waite? Oof, laying it on. Tom's police affairs has nothing to warrant your concern. Strip chatting to him is going to get me no place fast. All right, then. My parkour skills, not top notch. I'm not even. Move, Tubby. Won't open. I guess that is not the way to go. Okay, we can come back in. Scared me. That's great, but it won't budge. How do we get? Did you hear? Wait, killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. Damn shame. Maybe, maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I see Nellie is dragging him off. Caked in blood, he was. Aye, but Birch reckons she were ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Oh. The strange fellow you brought into Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Oh man, you found out my tricks. Well, I'm not allowed to leave, so... It won't open. Howdy, fellas. Hey, I heard you talking about me. You didn't see me. I was right over there. But, hey. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Mm, nice top floor. Nice views over the town, I'm told. What the... Great. That, that sounds just swell. Oh, are we like... Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. Innsmouth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. I... I suppose this is telling me what I'm supposed to do to get past the barricades.
It's the key to the back office. I thought there was an exit. There wasn't. We gotta be quick. I assume that this is the back office. It's unlocked. Is there a latch? No. All right. Nothing of interest. Oh. Nothing of interest here. Oh, blood! We got blood. All right. Let's see what you have to say about blood. The rug is caked in dried up blood and guts. Oh. The stench is sickening. Well, close the door on yourself. Deal with it. So this is the hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. There's eyeballs right over there. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Can we talk about the eyeballs, please? Ooh. I wonder what secrets this book holds. Ah! There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. Ooh, bullets. That's funny. It's just a spine. The rug is caked in dried up blood and guts. All right, we gotta go. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Can't see anything of use. I don't know if closing the door means anything. We weren't doing a darn thing, sir. If you just follow me, sir. Great. I'll show you to your lodgings. I would. I heard there was a killing over at the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. You know, one of your suspenders is broken? Or is that part of your charm? Thanks. It's great. It's a great room. I love it. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well. And keep down the racket. Our sinsmith are quiet fall. Wait. What? 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 I'm just going to keep saying what. That's how perplexed I am. That oh, I thought it was a I thought it was a chair. Nope, nothing important here. Just some cigarettes. An old wardrobe. Okay. Oh, right. Let's close it. 402. Nope. Nothing of interest. You know, there's a lot of things that you don't like. It's late. I don't Ooh. think it'd be wise to wake the other guests. Be wise to wake the other guests. Oh, because it's going to be loud. No chest of drawers. Got it. Nothing of interest. Well, clearly we're going to want to... Explore. What's this? It's locked. He locked me up here? What a jerk. It won't budge. It won't open. It won't budge. It won't budge. I thought I saw something. I'm a paranoid. It won't budge. Okay, that's ours. So we are in room 401 and also 402. So let's close it. That's annoying. Alright, fine. Leave the damn door open. I'll see if I care. Let's read the book we got. I'm hitting all sorts of wrong buttons. Post-mortem records. She wore a lively one and no mist- oh. I made no mistake. I kept her going as long as I could for the music she were making. Such a pair of lungs. And after she were done, I found those lungs on her look as good as they sounded. Maybe I'll keep them. Her liver was particularly sweet as well. Ew. I have never much wanted to go to New York, but if they all talk as much as this one, I reckon I ain't missing much. 
soon as he woke and saw the knives, he was away talking and pleading and bargaining for his life. All them words made me dizzy, and I had to take his tongue first to stop him. In the future, I better wait a while after they've eaten dinner. His innards stank awful. Ew. The bones was nearly all out before he died. I was real careful around the artery so that he didn't lose any more blood than he could have helped. And he lasted a lot longer for it. The flesh moved on its own as he tried to work his arm. But with the bones gone, there wasn't nothing it could do, just a twitch. I took out the strap so I could... Ooh, that's... Oh, that's... That's horrifying. Could move free, and I watched. The new gag worked much better, and he was more quiet than the last. Oh. Okay. So I assume we're not sleeping. I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna close the door. Do you want me to lock the door? How do you feel safe? Better. Not exactly safe. <laughs> but the best thing you can get in this infernal town. There's no pillow on the bed. How savage is that? My diary. February 7th. 1922, the Gilman Hotel. Early evening. Insmith turned out to be more dilapidated, depressed, and unwelcoming than initially expected. The stench of rotten fish fills the air, while poverty and disease lie festering in every cobbled back street. Only a few of the inhabitants have been all cooperative. The others are evasive and sometimes downright hostile. Agreed. My detective's instinct tells me they're trying to hide something. Of course. I could simply be prejudiced by their look and their manners. They're almost ugly enough to get me believing that those local tales of the Innsmith taint. Even so, I've been able to make some progress. Finding Ruth Billingham was a lucky break. She was convinced lover boy is still in one piece and being held in the town jailhouse. Rebecca Lawrence is clearly afraid of something. She doesn't come across as the type that scares easily. But then, I guess she's not afraid enough to leave. She seems more worried about me. Then there's Zadok Allen. Oh, poor Zadok. The old rummy. He was willing to talk, all right. I wish I knew whether he turned to a drink because of what he saw, or whether he saw things because he was drinking. The Order of Dagon. Some heathen religion brought back from the South Seas by Obed Marsh. Rituals on Devil's Reef. Those who wouldn't join massacred by some of the monsters in 1846. Hey, it's all so far-fetched. But what else could explain the thing that charged out from Thomas Waite's attic? If I hadn't spoken with Thomas himself, I'd be sure I was seeing things. Whatever's really going on, this place gives me the creeps. The dreams are becoming stronger. I seem to spend each night in a weird, fantastic landscape with the immense buildings like no architecture I've ever seen. And my body in the dreams. It's so strange, I can't begin to describe it. Maybe it's some buried memory of the occult stuff I studied when I wasn't myself. God, you wrote a lot when you were supposed to be sleeping. And this spooky vision thing is acting up worse than ever. Used to be, I could kind of see what people were thinking sometimes, but now it's going crazy. It's like someone's watching me all the time, tracking me from the rooftops in the shadows. I'm going to say it's Cthulhu. Just going to take a bet. <clears throat> I'm so edgy, I can hardly think straight. <laughs> I know that it doesn't mean it, but I'm thinking like he's so, he's so, he's so edgy. He's got edgy jokes, edgy commentary. Love it. If only I could get some decent bourbon in this miserable town. Well, you drank the whiskey. You, you gave it to freaking Zadok. You could have drank it. I need to track down Brian Burnham and fast. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I'll make an early start in the morning. All right, then. Auto save is always good. Just let's hope, hope it doesn't crash. What the hell is that? The great city of Nakotis. Nakotis. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand you live in time Gilman where have you put the outsider top of the house room 401 come on let's have it oh my god they're coming for me we got to go I 
don't think you need bourbon, Jack. I think you're high enough. Got a hatchet and a gun. Jack, you have got to get up. Of course I bolted it. I'm not a psycho. I can hear him moving about. You're creeping me out. <laughs> I uh <clears throat> I jumped a bit. I, I I panicked more than I should have and I just I dove on out. I actually wasn't sure if it was me jumping or if I had to use the action key to hop out. So I hit both of them. Just keep the noise down. Take the keys. Curseless. It's locked. Probably bolted on the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. Alright, calmly. What am I supposed to do here? Can I make it over there? Nope. Outsider, stop. Now the door's broken. <laughs> what the hell? I don't think this is supposed to be happening. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to be in here with me. He's awake in there. I this, can hear him this is Break the door down, you damn fool. Stop. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that was supposed to happen. Good. They're outside the room. That is the best way, there I believe. Room. Just keep the noise down. Take the keys. Curses. I, I'm still not really sure where to go. On the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break All right. Door down, you damn fool. Okay. Quick! I see him head Check the door. I should be able to move this wardrobe. Yeah, but why would I want to? I want to go into it. Seems it. enough to push. I should be able to move this wardrobe. Why won't you open the door? It seems light enough to push. I don't understand. I should be able to move this wardrobe. Don't let him get away. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Let's go. Let's go. This is taking too long. I've got to stop. Let him go. There ain't nowhere he can run. Oh, I'm out the window. Oh, ah! Okay, I'm getting majorly shot here. I'm gonna go around the corner, we're gonna heal. Oh, good job, Jack. Good, good, good job for squatting. There's no sprint. No, he's not. He's right. Is it this the right way? No, close the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's a dead lady! Oh, okay, here we go. Oh my god, please tell me you made it. Climb up, climb up, climb up. Oh, my ears are... No, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. I swear I'm nice. I'm... Oh, oh, oh my god, there's a door. <gasps> it won't open, okay. Ooh. Oh my god, I almost didn't see this. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, he's going across the roof. He's going, he's going, going, gone. Okay, he's on the roof. Oop, don't, don't walk on the glass. Okay, so where's a break in this? Can we hop down? We should be able to maybe... Hop, hop over. Oh god, no! Um, oh! Oh, a save point. I'm gonna grab this medkit. 
I'm gonna get to this. Oh, no, no, no one's here. No one's here. And hiding. Oh, we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide right here. Spread out. Spread out. Spread out indeed. But this is where I'm gonna end this video, guys. I did not know that it was going to be such an escape. Holy crap, that was f terribly frightening. <laughs> but now, now the game has gotten started, so that's pretty pretty exciting. Um, so don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Share uh, this video, share us, our channel, with your friends. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, check out the links in the description. It's got, got, got lots of stuff down there, such as social medias and other links that you might be interested in. Um, have a lovely day. We will see you guys again soon. Good night.